all right guys so welcome back to another video i'm over here at the course and i'm gonna show you how to play this far four a little bit downhill there's some bunkers on the right and just a little tight but then it opens up when you get to the green yeah, so this is a 360 yard par four you can see the flag there i'm gonna hit my driver i'm gonna try to stay to the left of this bunker right here so on that bunker there that's my line a lot of people use irons here but i don't see the point in using irons because if you can hit it to the left of this uh bunker right there um exactly that bunker right there that line then the green the, the fairway opens up there so i'm gonna hit a drive i think if you can hit pretty good drives you should always hit a drive on a on a par four All right, so this was probably one of my best drives ever. I know it's slightly downhill, but I hit it super straight between the bunkers right there. And I can see that it's probably like 60 yards from the from the pin. I think it doesn't make any sense on this part four to play a, an iron, uh, unless obviously you know that you're gonna like slice your driver or hook it massively. But if you can hit a distant distance with a driver on those short part fours, go ahead and hit them. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't uh i wouldn't hit an iron uh, obviously uh, the only reason you would hit an iron if there's a lot of hazards or if it's extremely tight but in this case well, there isn't that many hazards it's only bunkers and there is no water uh, a few trees to the right a few to the left and it kind of opens up to the left so no reason to play uh, an iron in this hole all right so my ball is right there i hit that really well but even if i would have hit it to the right i would be like in that hill right there or on that hill over there so there was no reason really to to play um, an iron i would say uh, obviously this was this was downhill so i did not hit like 300 yards here it's just because it was a little bit downhill so i probably carry like 250 in the air and then uh, being downhill it probably it probably uh rolled to like 270 here so it was a pretty good drive nevertheless it's exactly 80 yards left uh, i'm gonna play my 56. Uh, went a little to the right unfortunately good line good hit it just went to the right of the uh of the green and it's in the rough right right there i think that happens a lot a lot of times when we hit like a really really good drive then we kind of have like a short distance and we messed up uh and the same happened to me right now i think i aimed my shoulders a little bit too much to the right and it, the ball just stayed right it didn't go back to to the to the pin uh, so it's gonna be a tricky up and down from there but it's um it's not bad i mean it, it could i could get it up and down hopefully okay so there's the pin and my ball should be somewhere in here actually it was a little long uh, unfortunately it's sitting up it's sitting down here and with very little green to work with so this is one it's gonna be a really tough shot what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna get my 60 open the face and play like a bunker shot I think that's the best I could have done from there. I opened the face and uh, I just got, uh, I didn't hit it that hard though. So I got about, I would say like six feet, seven feet to save power here.
All right, guys, so great drive down the middle. Uh, only 80 yards left. I didn't play the, my wedge too good. Uh, I end up in the back of the green only to make a, a bogey. So after all, I guess you could say maybe on that hole, the best bet is to just play an iron. Um, a mid iron, have like 110 or 120 yards left. I just hit your your pitching wedge or your nine iron, depending how far you are. And then I think maybe that will be better depending on, you know, if you hit better shots with your pitching wedge and nine iron than your 56 and 52, then obviously uh, don't go for the drivers. So I think that's very typical of what happens to people when they hit long drives and then they don't, they don't, they don't finish up the hole. They don't play their good approach and they end up uh, bogging the hole or sometimes even doubling the hole. So anyways, guys, so think about it. If you can hit good shots at 80, 90 yards, then go for the driver. If you can hit better shots with your 110, 120 yards clubs, then don't go for the driver and uh, play a mid or long iron. Anyways, guys, so that was just a quick video on a par four, uh, how you could play it. And hopefully you can see and you can decide for yourself what is the best thing to do there. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.